What's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jealous and today I'm team building around Shui Specs Raichu for Smogon Sword and Shield OU. Then I'll be testing out the team on the Pokemon Showdown ladder. This is a set that was suggested to me by my good friend Zazo Iron Flash Gaming and it really has two switchins in OU and those two are Sylveon and komo -O. I definitely want to use Age Slash as the Pokemon that is going to take advantage of the Volt Switch momentum against those two. The only komo -O that tends to run Earthquake are the Belly Drum variants and when people have Belly Drum Komo, -O, they generally won't hard switch it into anything, so Aegislash should be able to take advantage of that scenario, and then obviously it's a really good Sylveon check as well. I want to run King Shield with Shadow Ball, Flash Cannon, and Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak is great priority against Dragapult, which is actually something else that kind of annoys Raichu. It doesn't take the Specs Electric Kits very well, but it can pivot in a few times, so you never know. I'm pretty sure Volt Switch plus Shadow Sneak should be able to kill it with Hazards up too, so that'll be really strong. And then of course what I want to do is make this the leftover set with max HP, max special attack. And I'll put the 4 in speed because you never know when other people are going to run min speed Age Slash as well. Make it minus attack because I don't think we need the extra power on Shadow Sneak anyway, so that's great. I love this, but the problem is they're both weak to ground, so I need a ground immunity. I would love Mandibuzz here if I'm being honest, because it also provides me with the Ghost Resist. Age Slash is weak to Ghost, and obviously Raichu doesn't want to take any Ghost hits at all, considering these defensive stats, so... I think without really overthinking it, I'll go Mandibuzz as well. Team is looking pretty standard right now, besides the Raichu, but maybe I'll add something special later. I'll make this Heavy Duty Boots with Overcoat. And then I can just go with, like, U-Turn Defog variant knock off roost so this provides me with a good opposing dragapult check in case it's not in range of the shadow sneak as well as just a better hydreigon switch and i'm pretty sure u-turn always breaks the sub so that'll be really strong and then of course i can make it minus special attack right here so good what do i want now i definitely want my own hazards would be great some good speed control would be really valuable as well so what could be the speed control for me so what I do know is that the new sprites just got released. This is the first video I'm doing with the new sprites on Pokemon Showdown. I kind of want to add a Galar Pokemon being Dracozult just to see what the sprite looks like. It also, it's also actually pretty good in case Raichu ends up getting worn down by hazards. Provides me with a secondary electric to be able to break through stuff like Corviknight. But I think I actually want to add Diggersby, which has a similar speed tier at base 78. But what it can allow me to do is get U-turns on Corviknight into Raichu and I can get them in like a Volt Turn Vortex so I think I'll go with this instead and just go with like U-Turn, Earthquake, Fire Punch to be able to hit Corviknight in case I want to spam Earthquake later and then I can just go with like Body Slam on last slot. I've actually been seeing a few Diggers be without like Body Slam and they just tend to run like Quick Attack as the normal stab. I definitely want to have this option though and then I can go ahead and run Huge Power of course with Choice Scarf. I love this thing's speed tier because it's able to outspeed Pokemon like Choice Scarf Dracovish as well as Draco Zolt, as well as Choice Scarf Tuxtricity. Unfortunately, unless you run Jolly, you don't outspeed. Actually, I don't even think Jolly outspeeds because this is 280. Isn't Dragapult 421? I'm pretty sure it is. It goes from 320 up to 421, right? Yeah, so there's no point in running Jolly Scarf Diggersby then. I'm just going to go with the Adamant one. And I still outspeed those other Adamant Scarfers or Modest Scarfers, like I mentioned, so. There's that, I can put the 4 into Spadef, and I still want my own hazards. Ideally some sort of like win condition too, like these two are great breakers and Diggersby can win if I can get rid of the grand immunities, but I would love a Pokemon that just sets up and like cleans up late game, so. Pokemon that can do that involve Bisharp, include Bisharp. Swords Dance Drill wouldn't be bad as like a breaker, because I'm seeing a lot of fat teams on the ladder, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely want a setup breaker that can just like mess them up. Is Mimikyu not OU anymore? No, it's right here. Do I go Mimikyu? It would double up on ghost types, but ghost spam is actually really good against fatter teams. And I have like Raichu and Diggersby to threaten Toxapex anyway, so... I'm gonna go Mimikyu. With Swords Dance. Play Rough, Shadow Claw, Shadow Sneak. Seems fine. I can make it Life Orb. So now we have some good physical attackers on the team. Prior to this, we had primarily... Special attackers, so that's really good. And then I can run like Jolly Nature just to be able to outspeed Mold Breaker Jolly Drill because that will Oko us through disguise. And we have one slot left and no hazards on the team, so I need a hazard setter here. 
I'm leaning towards either Ferrothorn or Seismitoad, the reason being they would both provide me with okay Draco Vispichens as well as rain checks, and I think that's really good here considering I don't have any water resists. Now, the reason Seismitoad looks strong is because I definitely like the fire resist to help out against Cinderace and Rotom Heat, but I don't know how much I like the idea of doubling up on ground types. So maybe I just go Ferrothorn instead. It's still going to take on like Scarf Dracovish, which is like the Dracovish that I'm really scared of. So yeah, I'll go Ferrothorn. I think I'll just go with Singular Hazards being Stealth Rocks to just forego spikes on this team. And then I can just go like Leech Sheet, double stab right here with Gyre Ball Power Whip. Make it leftover to Fizz Def. Provides me with a good Opposing Mimikyu check, which is kind of cool, I guess. And we can just go ahead and make it Fizz Def and call that the team, I guess. So... Let me just double check my abilities, Iron Barbs, Disguise, Huge Power, Overcoat, Stance Change, and Lightning Rod. So we have like two of the electric immunities as well as Ferrothorn, so opposing electric types really shouldn't be that scary. Let's go ahead and play. So I have a game right here, why is the Dragapult sprite so big? That's kind of funny. I get free volts, which is here barring the ditto copying my Lightning Rod. I might want to be a bit aggressive and go for Focus Blast into either that or Ferrothorn coming in. I think I'll actually lead with it here. And I can maybe go for an endgame with Mimikyu. Oh, actually, if I hit a Focus Blast into this, Mimikyu would have so much fun. But if I miss, that's really bad. What do I want to go for? Because I could also just Volt Switch out into my own Pharaoh. The thing is, I'm very confident they're clicking Hazard. So I'm going to go for Focus Blast and see whether I can maybe hit. They just scout forward and go Dragapult. Good play. I can definitely get in Mandibuzz here, though. And I think that is the, the best option. They might go for a U-turn. It could even be physical with darts, but... I just want information. They go for U-turn. It is Life Orb, so it's probably like Life Orb mixed. They go Togekiss here, right? That like makes a lot of sense. No, they really want their hazards up. Okay. Well, I'm going to knock this off. Even though I'm going to get worn down right here, getting rid of this thing's leftovers is going to be really good. And they actually have Toxic and missed it. That's really lame for them. I definitely have to admit that. I'll keep this healthy and go Ferrothorn. As they go for hazards that turn, that's smart. I can go ahead and get up my rocks, and this thing definitely has a flamethrower the way it just came in. So what do I want to do about that? The thing is, I'm confident Ferrothorn could live one, but I don't know what their item is. Like, if they're choice specs or something, that's really bad. And I feel as though I need this to help myself out against the Gyarados, because my Scarfer isn't faster than it. So this is a bit of a tough turn. Do I go Mandibuzz here? I don't mind losing Mandibuzz, like, it's gonna be harder against the Dragapult, but I have Shadow Sneak priority, as well as Mimikyu, so, like, maybe I can just go Mandibuzz here. Yeah, they go for Fire Blast. They might go for Air Slash this turn, but I'm gonna try to get the slow U-turn. They have Dazzle, which I was able to live, so that's really strong. And what I can do now is get an Aegis Slash here and try to make a play. What do I want to do? Shadow Ball hits everybody. I don't know if they would leave this in. If they do go Ferrothorn, like, I could just easily go out into my own again and they would continue getting worn down. Let's just go for Flash Cannon. I'll live that easily, and this is going to do a lot. Should put them in range of Sneak, if not just outright knock them out. There we go. So that's going to be really good. Now they can bring out Dragapult. I can just Shadow Sneak through this, can't I? I don't know if it kills, but it'll definitely put it in range of Hazards plus Life Orb. Let's just go for that. Oh, they're really fat. Never mind. But I still have them really low, so I don't really mind that trade. What I can do here is bring out... Do I actually have to go Mimikyu to Revenge? I might have to here. Because they're Life Orb, we know that. They definitely have Dragon Darts on the set. My Diggers B is not going to outspeed this, so I think I have to go Mimikyu. Yeah, because they, they have to have Darts. I have to go Mimikyu, unfortunately, so it is what it is there. Let's go ahead and... Tough turn here. What do I want to do about this? I think I can easily go for an endgame with Scarf Diggers B2. It just, I don't want to rely on a speed tie con. That's what I'm worried about. Let's just go for Sneak. They do make the Ferrothorn pivot. That's really good for them. What I can do here is get in my, my Pharaoh. I really hope they don't double to the Dragapult. What's annoying is they can switch it in and get two hits off because it's a 23. They actually end up doubling in the Rotom. So that's alright, what I can do here is just either go for Power Whip or like go Raichu. I think I'll Power Whip as they go for Substitute, that's like whatever. I can maybe just Lead Sheet this turn. Yeah, Lead Sheet's okay, I don't really care if they Will-O-Wisp me, like they could maybe go for the... 
substitute again, but then I could just break it after, and they're not really doing much to me here. So they end up pivoting in their own Ferrothorn, which I'm just going to stay in here and spam Power Whip again. So like, this is what I need gone, so why would I not just stay in? Yeah, they're like hoping I switch out, but I'm just going to take the damage here. Like, I, I have no reason not to do this. Let's just kill it. They're really spamming Toxic. They're just going to lose to my Mimikyu at this rate, I feel. I don't know why they're doing this. Maybe to weaken me for Gera with their own Iron Barbs, but like, I'm losing 6% a turn, dude. I don't think it's going to be a difference maker. There we go. They're just clicking Toxic. This thing is not a Mimikyu check anymore. I think Mimikyu should have no problem cleaning this up. We even have Chip on Rotom. Is that the first speed tie they won out of all those turns? <laughs> That's honestly kind of funny. Well, let's continue clicking it here. I could even start clicking Lead Sheet to get my health back, but because I'm Life Orb, I just want to get out of the way, so that way I don't lose to Iron Barbs later, so... Let's do that. And then, yeah, hopefully this one can kill, so I don't take too much damage here, but... I don't think it will. I'll probably get, like, a 7 roll. Okay, never mind. They decided to do that. So, now they can revenge using Dragapult. I think that's actually their only option. <laughs> so, let's see what they do. They go drag. This has two attacks left in it. My play is to sack Mandibuzz. Yep, one attack left, and what I can do here is bring out... I go Mimikyu and I Shadow Sneak every time to keep Disguise. If I lose my Disguise, Ditto could actually be a threat. So let's make the smarter play here, knock that out. Yeah, I think it might actually come down to maybe Diggersby Speed Ties, depending on how this goes. I should keep the Disguise, I feel, and go Hard fair. Yeah, that's always the play here, and I should Lead Sheet right now. They just have to not get, like, Earthquake Crits, and, or, like, I don't miss Lead Sheet, and I should be able to win this. Pretty easily, too. They go for another DD. I did hit the lead sheet, so now I just spam power up. I, I should probably just gyro ball, actually. I don't think it's worth it. They're just going to miss. They go for another one. There's no way this Oko is me, so I don't know what they're trying to do here. They should go for the Waterfall Flinch, but even then they died Iron Barbs. They go for Outrage, and it does 30, yeah. So this should be over. Because Ditto gets 5, I'll be right back. So I have another game right here. This is a suspect test account, O-U-T-M, no. I don't know if people still use those, but... Raichu is doing nothing right here. They have Kamo'o, Sylveon, and Dugtrio. But my Diggersby and Mimikyu look amazing right here. I definitely want to lead off with... I mean, Diggersby is really good as a lead. So let's go with that. They end up leading with Dragapult, which does outspeed me, unfortunately. So I will pivot to Mandibuzz initially. They might be will o -Wisp, but... I don't really want to call that. I can maybe just pivot in, go for a knockoff, try to get rid of either Sylveon's leftovers, or... They actually just clicked Specs of Draco right away. Well, I definitely want to roost it in. <laughs> yeah, they go Sylveon. I can bring in either Aegislash, or I can just go for a knock. Let's just knock off. Get rid of the lefties. They go for Yawn. <laughs> okay, well, they might double Yawn. Let's go Aegislash. They should double Yawn. No, they end up pivoting a Rotom Heat. So this is actually a tough Pokemon for me to get around. What do I want to do to it? It could even be worth it to just attack it, if I'm being honest. Would they U-turn out into, like, Obstagoon or Kamo'o here? Because <laughs> I could easily catch those with Flash Cannon, that's the thing. But, like, if they stay in, I want a Shadow Ball, because I'll live in Overheat, so... What's my best option? I think I... I think I switch it out and go Manda Buzz. They go for Wisp, I can just go for slow U-turn. Yeah, they're gonna go for Volt. Was that a crit? No, it wasn't. It just does that much. Okay. Well, I'm able to get in on the Sylveon, and I think now what I can do is bring out Aegislash and actually attack this time. Let's go right for Flash Cannon. They go right for that. It's King Shield here. Actually, I think I should Flash Cannon again. They pivot in the road. I mean, yeah, these turns are really tough. Like, I gotta get these predictions correct. Maybe I should have Shadow Balled there. Oh, and they Nasty Plot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I'm dead. Let's just sack off the Manda Buzz. Okay, this is going really badly. They missed, but as long as they don't miss again, it doesn't matter. They should just Volt out, to be honest. They go for Overheat. Okay, let's make this play. And I think what I do is go right for Focus Blast. 
Pivots and Sylveon. Okay, I need like Mimikyu to come through really well here. Goes for that. Let's get up rocks, break the doggy sash, and then try to win with Mimikyu. It looks like Mimikyu might just straight up win if I am able to get a Swords Dance up from this position, so that's the goal. Goes for their own rocks, that's okay. What I can do here is go right for Shadow Ball. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my Mimikyu has this if I SD up, so I need to do that soon. And then I can probably wrap this up here. Infiltrator doesn't go through Disguise, right? That's not a thing. I did a Shadow Ball into the Bulletproof Mon, by the way. I am acknowledging that. Let's go ahead and uh, Flash Cannon this turn on the Earthquake. I actually wish they killed me. I would have gone Mimikyu right there and wrapped it up, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I can do it against anybody. They go for Volt. Yeah, whoever comes in here, I'm just going Mimikyu and winning the game against. I don't care who it is. My Mimikyu is coming in and trying to do something. Unless it's maybe Dragapult. <laughs> Ends up being Dougie. I could SD and then I could Shadow Sneak through. I don't know if Shadow Sneak's Okoing though at plus two. So let's go Diggersby first and U-turn. Yeah, Diggersby U-turn is a fine play here. We know it specs a drag, so I don't really have to worry about that. And then after the next rock switch, and this should always die. I am jolly for the Obstagoon. Sylveon's in range, Rotom's in range. I think Mimikyu has this. Maybe I should have done it right there, but I was a bit worried about, like, Earthquake into Sucker Punch, too. That's something I have to consider. So let's see what they do. Just go drag, man, and give me the win with Mimikyu already. That would make me so happy. They leave it in. Okay, I can go with Pharaoh on the Earthquake. I think I go for the Gyro Ball again. And then again. Now I go Mimikyu and wrap it up. Yeah, I think they're banded based off that damage. So let's go right for SD and see if I can win here. There is that. I just go right for Sneak every time. Knock that out. I'm pretty sure I just won. As long as I hit the player off into Obstagoon. <laughs> That's the one thing. Sylveon dies to Shadow Claw. This dies to Shadow Sneak. That dies to Shadow Claw. I just have to hit the player off into Obstagoon and I just won this game. <laughs> because I don't think they can like switch around and stall me out with Life Orb. They should lose if they try to do that. And if Dragapult dies, I think I can win with Scarf Diggersby either way. So we'll see how this plays out. Yeah, I don't think they can they can switch around here. They go Dragapult. I can easily Shadow Sneak through, obviously. They might go off a choke of me just not doing that and calling Sylveon, but I have no reason to do this. If Sylveon comes in, I can easily just Shadow Claw after. So yeah, that's dead. And uh, I'm pretty sure Mimikyu wraps it up here. Obstagoon comes in. This is the thing I need to hit against, but even if I don't, Diggersby might be able to wrap it up for me. And I did just hit, and that's where the Jolly Nature comes into play. So GG, man. I'll be right back. So for this game right here, my opponent has a double dark, so I definitely want to take advantage of Mimikyu's player off as well as Raichu's focus blast, maybe trying to nab some kills. Raichu actually does really well right here, but I need to get my plays right. I need to grass knot the Seismitoad, that'll help out my Diggersby a lot. Maybe get momentum with Diggersby on the Corviknight. I could actually do that early. So they just end up leading off with the Toad, so in this situation, my best play is to U-turn out into my Ferrothorn. They might go right for Scald. Yeah, they go right for Scald instead of trying to get up rocks, which is understandable. Now what I can do is, I could choose to double out into Raichu. But I think rocks are just better, because even if they go Corviknight, I can get Raichu in on a hard switch. Ends up being Obstagoon, so like, Obstagoon is a really tough Pokemon for me to switch around, because... Like, we know it's gonna have close combat, that's a given. I don't want to risk a Mimikyu against that, which is the tough thing here, so I think I just leave this in. And go for Gyro Ball on the knockoff, okay. So that's down to 30 now. Let's go right for Gyro Ball again. I don't think they have close combat. They do, never mind. <laughs> I mean, this is my play. They're probably just gonna leave it in. But yeah, if I can get rid of Corviknight, that would be great. 
So there's the Corviknight. I go Raichu here. They should sack off the Obstagoon, but I'm going to Grass Knot. Yeah, because because the Ferrothorn is dead, I really don't want to predict Seismitoad. They would never sack this. You lose to Earthquake or like Body Slam straight up if you do. Why, dude? That play makes no sense at all. But I guess it worked out for them. I'm going to go Mandibuzz now on the Hydreigon and get a U-turn. Like, that's really frustrating, but... I guess what I can do here is get in Raichu again, and maybe they just leave it in on Focus Blast. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand risking Corviknight right there, but... I guess it's alright. Let's try to Focus Blast through this. I, I should still be able to win this using the, the Mimikyu plus Aegislash. Like, Aegislash looks decent. Being able to Shadow Sneak through Gengar. They have their Obstagoon back alive now, which is a bit tough. This is, it should be like so obvious I have Focus Blast, but I still think I click it. Like, I don't want to predict Toad now. I literally showed you Grass Knot. If I hit two into Seismitoad, it might honestly just die. You never know. Yeah, I think I would have automatically won had I Thunderbolted right there, but I didn't want to give them free rocks, so they end up pivoting in Gengar. Which is a good pivot. I would never click an electric move there. That's like not even a play. I have to go Mandibuzz on the Sludge Wave, and I think my best play is to go right for Knockoff. Yeah, Knockoff is fine. I don't know why they did that, but I knock out the Gengar. I doubt the crit mattered. Out comes the Ice Cream. I gotta go Aegislash against this. They double an Obstagoon, but it dies to Hill plus Flame Orb. I don't know what this guy is doing now, but. I'm not really concerned about it. I'll go Manda Buzz again on the sub and just U-turn again. Like, if you're Dark Pulse Flash Gun and you're doing no damage here, and then I just get the U-turn out into Hydreigon, or Diggers B. Goes for a nasty plot. Oh, wait, what? Are we serious? All right, well, what I have to do is this, and then this. That actually didn't kill the sub. It must have been a roll, because didn't I break it earlier with U-turn? I'm pretty sure I did. Goes for sub again. I don't know why they're risking this. Like, you still don't kill me, and then... I can kill you. Or potentially break your sub with an SD plot, and then I keep my Amanda buzz, like... They go for flash cannon. Can I break it this time with the roll? I still didn't. Okay. Uh, anything that can break through the... No, there isn't. So, now what I want to do is you turn out into... Now what I want to do is just body slam to prevent the sub from going back up because that's what they're going to click, yeah. And then they can like Dark Pulse this turn, I guess. So they get rid of Diggersby, that is whatever. I can get in... Do I go Mimikyu? Mimikyu wins this game if I get rid of this. It probably wins this game even if I don't get rid of this, to be honest. The Specs Volt Switch do the damage I need it to? Probably not. I Dragon. Nope. I think I Thunderbolt. Goes Corviknight. I don't understand that. They just lost, but I guess it's fine. Scalds there. I mean, if I Shadow Ball, then that's in range of Mimikyu at plus two. I guess they could win off a of Scald Burn, but... Like, they're not... They don't want to go for that, apparently. Kill that there. and Yeah, now it's over. This was a weird game. Like, I got that initial play wrong, which, by the way, that play still made no sense by then. And then, um, I was still able to win because of some really interesting turns later. I mean, yeah, all I have to do here is go Raichu Thunderbolt kills, actually, right? I want Raichu to do something, so let's go Raichu here and see how much it can do to Vanillux. If there's Scarf Vanillux, they could win off Blizzard Freezes. So you never know, they might have a win con here. I don't think it's a win con at all, but... Well, let's see, I kill that, and then, like, if I think they might be Scarf Vanillux, but... Like, I should live here, just fine. Yeah, there's Scarf, I did live. I didn't get frozen, and then all that needs to happen is my Mimikyu has to Shadow Sneak through it, I guess. Shadow Sneak should do 32. It's a it's an ice cream cone, like. 
I would be very surprised if it takes less than 32. Yeah, 30 to 35. So yeah, we're good here, I think. I mean, if I get the mineral and they freeze me, then I could lose, I guess. But let's hope that doesn't happen. Is that offensive or does that have bulk in it? Oh, that's minus defense. Okay. I guess they run that because they might have ice shard on them. But yeah, blizzards me there. I just go mimic you and I, I just try to shadow sneak. Didn't kill. Didn't get frozen. Okay, GG. So, I'll be right back. Once again, Mimikyu just looks like a really strong endgame right here. I definitely want to get up rocks, but they have Cinderace with Chord Change. So, I guess it's just all of the Gen 8 sprites look gigantic right now. Because, like, the Hatterene is really tall, and then the Cinderace is pretty big as well. What I want to do here is... I think I lead off with Diggersby again. And... So, here's a weird turn. They, they shouldn't stay in here unless they're Scarfied Gem Pick. You could argue I shouldn't stay in here, but looking at the composition of their team... No, this could be Choice Scarf looking at the team comp, but... I don't have a good switch in. Like, I don't want to switch out and they end up getting a kill early. Like, it would be bad to lose this, but... All Earthquake. Yeah, they stay in and lose it. Okay. Like, if they were Scarf, that was a bad lead scenario, but the information could have been useful. That's for sure. I think they're just going to Leaf Storm here. No, they go for Volt, okay. Well, they're gonna get in, what, Hatterene? I can bring in Age Slash. I don't really care if they have Mystical Fire, and they try to Psychic anyway. I know I just went from one Fire Week to the other, but like, this is not even doing that much for me. I ended up going for Vaporeon. I can get this Shadow Ball off because I'm Flash Cannon. I mean, because of the Spit-Up Drop from Flash Cannon, but maybe what I could do is also go Ferrothorn. The thing is, they could easily just Wish Pass to Hatterene on that, and I don't really want that. That is a very spit after drill. Wow. Let's go to this on the earthquake and then... I'll, I'll try to gyro bolt through. They end up just staying in. So maybe what I can do is try to get up rocks now, but they end up pivoting out that turn. So they get all the plays right. Last time I went Aegislash. This time I'm going to go Aegislash. Yeah, they go for Mystical Fire, but like I said, I don't really care if they Mystical Fire me. They could stay in here and take the kill, but I'm pretty sure I can easily win this game with Mimikyu from the current position of things. I keep on getting spit-up drops on this too, which is really lucky. Yeah, and I'll just continue staying in here. Get another spit-up drop. They're obviously going to pass this to the Excadrill. So I'm going to go to... Well, they could just stay in too. To protect. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Let's go Mandibuzz. No, they wanted to get the drill in. Okay. Well, I don't really know what this is going to do to me, but I'm going to defog. Goes to Rotom Mo, and this is what I want. I can get slow U-turn now, and this guy is still trying to make predictions. I can get in Diggersby and U-turn. Oh, it's Scarf, but I did live and knock them out. Okay. Good to know that it's Scarf, so that means the Dragapult's not Scarf, so... Useful info, I guess. Drill is really bulky, so I don't even know if plus two Shadow Claw can kill it, and I don't want to die to Mold Breaker Iron Head, so... I should be a bit careful about that. Right here, though, my best play is to go Mandibuzz again. They're obviously going to get a hat, and then I can maybe just U-turn back to age slash like I've been doing. This thing goes lefties. I do want those gone, so let's go ahead and do that. And then I'll go for U-turn this turn into Pharah on the Scald, and... I mean, maybe I can just try to power up. Yeah, this damage on Hatterene is actually going to be kind of useful. I wish I knew whether I could kill Excadrill in one hit. I guess I can just calc it, like... I don't know why I'm complaining about the calc. Let's see, Excadrill. Okay, so even like offensive Excadrill could live plus two. Mimikyu is so weak. Uh, I'll go Mandibuzz on the Mystical Fire and then U-turn out into Age Slash on the Calm Mind. Okay, cool click, I guess. I can go right for Shadow Ball here. Do a lot and then I can bring in Mimikyu and Shadow Claw through. I'm pretty sure the Vaporeon will die to two of these, and then if they go Drill, then I get the damage that I want. Oh, wow. Do I just go for the Wincon here? Goes for Wish. So if I Swords Dance right here, and they did not Scald Burn me, I win the game. They went for Haze. <laughs> so I could have killed that right there. And they Scald. Okay, I just got a player off then. Do a lot. They go for Haze. I have to Shadow Claw through now. Brings out the Drill, so that's actually the damage I wanted. I think I can easily win the game using Diggersby from this position. 
So let's obviously bring this out here. And then I can just like gyre ball through on the Hatterene coming in. I can just give them this, it doesn't really matter. But then I go Diggersby and just try to start spamming Earthquake as best as I can. And I should be able to wrap it up with the combination of this and Mimikyu in the back. I wonder what this is though, that's the important thing. It seems to be like Spadaf, so I'll be right back. Oh, this one might be rough because Raichu was one of my better options right here and they have a Dugtrio, but it's still winnable. Like Mimikyu can maybe break through if I can weaken Toxapex, but it's going to be difficult whether I like it or not. Age slash Shadow Ball spam looks really good here as well, so that's something I maybe want to take advantage of. I really like Diggersby as a lead. They end up just leading off with the Shandy. So I could easily take momentum here into the Raichu on the Corviknight and maybe try to get a play, but like if they just stand in their specs, that's really bad, so I think I Earthquake immediately. They go Corviknight, which is their correct play. They might go for U-turn here. I'm going to make Mandibuzz as the initial pivot because I don't want to give Chandelier the free attack, so. And I didn't want to give Dugtrio the trap on Raichu either, so. Ends up bringing out Hatterene. It might be worth it to just knock off into this if I'm being honest. Yeah, they go for a Mystical Fire trying to catch AG and I can just get an AG now. Good double Mystical Fire, I definitely have to give them credit there, but this should still die to Shadow Ball. Kinda sucks, this was a really good Pokemon for me. Ends up pivoting in Pex. Takes nothing, too. If this is Toxic T-Spikes, this is going to be such a painful game. But I'll go Pharah. Just goes for Scald. Okay. Well, they shouldn't allow me to get a Brox here. That would actually put them in kind of a tough position. So let's take damage on this and then... Put to, like, Mandibuzz here on the Draining Kiss. Okay, that's interesting. I think I'll U-turn then. I didn't think they would actually drain and kiss out of all plays, like... I'll go Aegislash now. On the Calm Mind, and I can Shadow Ball this turn. Thankfully they Calm Minded. And then like, maybe I can try to Spadaf Drop through this Pex, but... I don't think it's happening. Oh, they end up pivoting in Corviknight. Okay, this is actually pretty good for me. How much am I doing? 31, never mind. <laughs> and they're, uh... They're Mirror Armor, it looks like, so... That's kind of bad, too. I'll stay in a few turns here. Because they go for U-turn again, and I can Shadow Ball through somebody else now. Yeah, but this, breaking this Corby Pex core is going to be really bad. Really difficult. Okay, never mind. Maybe they're messing up right here. Why are they just letting me Shadow Ball through everybody? <laughs> hmm. Goes right for Roost. Let's make this play, and I think the play is to go for Focus Blast. Hit. Good, okay, I'm dead here, but I don't care. Like, at least this thing is dead the moment I get Hazards up, and I have it weakened for Mimikyu, so... I'm actually, like, really happy with that exchange, and I can go to Diggersby here and U-turn. Yeah, Corviknight comes in. I'll try to get a knockoff on this initially. You never know whether they'll let me get it or not. Like, that would be really useful. They do just to go for a U-turn, and I think that I might have set up my Mimikyu win con now. They go Dugtrio, so I'm assuming this has like Edge or something. No, I just wanted to get a Brox, okay. Well, obviously I'll go for Gyre Ball here. They go for Reversal, so had I gotten a Brox, that would have obviously been a lot better. Let's make this play, and I think I have to be aggressive here and go for Fire Punch. Do I have to? Okay, I did, which is... I think I win the game if I can get the SD up now, because Pex is low, right? Oh, it's really low, yeah. And I'm not gonna let that roost, so let's fire punch it again. Ditto comes in. Oh, wait a minute, they're potentially giving me damage on Ditto, too. And Earthquake is a win con now, I just realized. Yeah, let's go ahead and switch this out. I can win using Scarf EQ. So my, what I do here is I go mimic you and play rough through this. And then I think it just comes down to maybe the speed tie. Pivots to Pex, okay. I'll go Aegislash and just Shadow Ball through this. They wanted to predict SD there, okay. 
I get the spit of drop immediately. I think I win. I really don't want it to come down to Diggersby versus Diggersby. That would be really annoying. Is Shandy Scarf 2? That's another thing I need to find out. I have Sneak here. And that'll put it in range of my Mimikyu, so... Goes right for Fire Blast. I have to go Diggersby. I think this is Specs. I'm gonna go for Earthquake and see whether I can win. Yeah, it's Specs. It literally comes down to Diggersby versus Diggersby. Because I Earthquake here. They win that one, but I, I will code them. I won the game. <laughs> yeah. I think I won the game. I don't know if this dies or not. It didn't. Please tell me Shadow Claw does 25. Mimikyu, are you that bad? Mimikyu is that bad. <laughs> are we serious? Yeah, they just have to spam Haze. I mean, I'll go for the plus two crit, I guess. I really couldn't do 25 with Shadow Claw. <laughs> That's actually going to lose me the game here. Yeah, my hope is that they scald eventually, and then I crit them with the high crit ratio with Shadow Claw. Yeah, I actually can go- I should be able to go for that as long as they don't scald burn me. It doesn't make a difference, dude. Just go for the scald burn and see whether you get crit or not. I guess, yeah, they can just life orb stall me. Like, that makes sense. I got the crit. It looks like maybe a high roll crit here can kill. Let's go for that. And it looks like I just died. Yeah, that life or high roll crit wasn't killing. <laughs> That's really sad. I'll be right back. Alright, I have another game right here. This player has absolutely no ground immunity, so I can definitely spam Earthquake. I don't want to... Actually, I probably do want to lead off with it, because yeah, this is going to be the lead for Sun, and I can just Earthquake right now. If they go Whimsicott, it's like very whatever. Yeah, they go Whimsicott, and then I can just get in like Age Slash. This probably has Weather Ball, now that I'm thinking about it, so... Maybe I'll pivot Mandibuzz first. Goes for Elite Sheed, that's fine. And then I can go for, like, Slow U-Turn. Goes for Substitute, okay. Well... I think what I'll do is I'll go Raichu here and Volt out. Yeah, Raichu's Volt is fun. They might try to Elite Sheed, and then I get the, the Volt switch on that. Yeah, that's really good for me. And then what I can do is bring out Aegislash and just go right for Flash Cannon. I'm pretty sure this gets Weather Ball. If it doesn't, I just made like a series of unnecessary turns, but it's like very whatever to me. Stun Spore, but I get the attack off, which is nice. Let's see what they do now. They could go Diggersby. That would make a lot of sense. Goes Ninetales again to get the Sun up. That also makes plenty of sense. What I want to do here is... Having no fire is definitely hurts, but... Mandibuzz should be able to take these, yeah. I think that's Specs too. I think, do I Roost or do I get the slow U-turn? I think, I don't want to play defensively. Let's go for U-turn and get an Earthquake off again. Yeah. This is Specs Ninetales, so I'm able to kill that. And now they're forced out into what, like Surfetched? Which does have Scrappy, so I have to keep that in mind. <laughs> I recorded an entire Surfetch to live without, but just forgetting it had Scrappy and it still did super well. That was a really funny video, but I'll do this. Ideally, they don't have a way to kill me here. That would be like really interesting. I'll go for a knockoff. They don't have a way to kill me. <laughs> I'll go for U turn next. And then I'll just go back to Diggersby and Earthquake again. Like it's so free against this team. Right here. Does Diggersby Earthquake kill the Surfetched? Surfetched against Diggersby. Did they forfeit? No, they didn't. It's still just my turn. Earthquake doesn't kill this. Most of the time, which I'm not going to go for most of the time. That's not worth it. I think I instead go Mimikyu here and just try to play off it. I should be faster. They could first impression to break my disguise. But they don't, and it just dies, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Diggersby comes in. I want to keep the Shadow Sneak pressure, but at the same time, I could actually lose to Agility Diggersby had this go if this doesn't go my way, so let's go for Play Rough. Yeah, like Agility is legitimately a win con for them here if they were Fire Punch, so I didn't want to risk that. And now I can just Play Rough again. Yep, get rid of the Diggersby, and that should wrap it up here. 
Dragapult comes in, I can Shadow Sneak through this, do plenty of damage, goes right for Shadow Ball. I don't want to have to rely on this. I think there's specs, so what do I want to do? Let's just end it off with Diggersby, how about that? Like, I'm not going to outspeed here, but if they're not, like, specs, then they can't kill me. So, this will die to two Earthquakes, and then I should have no problem dropping the Dragapult too. Depending on what they lock. So, that's going to be the game, and that will be the live. I did hope you all enjoyed. You can find the team down below in the description. I think I lost one game, which was really close. I still can't believe I lost that. Like, was that a low roll on that Earthquake? I'm going to check it right now. Diggersby against Toxapex. Oh, you the Pex. Yeah, I got, a, I got a really low roll right there. So that, like, if I literally did, like, 4% more, I would have been able to win the game. Because I'm pretty sure the Shadow Claw left them on 4%. It did 21, right? So this roll right here was uh, really unfortunate. I just needed to do, like, 80. And then I ended up doing, like, 75. But it's part of the game. And, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.